नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू माई लेक्चर्स ऑन होम्योपैथी एपेनेशिया आई हैव टेकन टू केसेस आई मीन आई हैव टेकन टू टॉपिक्स वन ऑफ किलॉइड अदर ऑफ हार्निया आई हैव ऑल्सो प्रेजेंटेड वेरियस केसेस ऑफ टीनिया इन्फेक्शंस आई हैव बीन टेकिंग यू नो ऑल द केसेस आई हैव आई हैव आई हैव बीन टेकिंग टॉपिक्स which are considered as incurable in medical stream homeopathy is a medical science so it is high time that people start talking about homeopathy in terms of medicine so my today's topic is lipoma now this condition it is a common thing common in the sense 2% of the population suffer from this condition lipoma is a lumpy growth of the fatty tissues or you can say that it is a tumor of the fatty tissues which is underneath the skin in between the skin and the muscles most of the times it has got a very very gradual onset and people usually don't notice it unless it has become 1 cm 2 cm 3 cm like that it is a benign condition though it is called as a tumor of the fatty tissue it is benign it means it is harmless most of the time it is harmless but if it grows out of proportion then it becomes a great cosmetic problem usually people have one or two that is harmless that doesn't creates any problem for the person but people are scared and they are made to scared by people who for their own benefit tell them who are not so much qualified these are the people who tell that you know they use the term cancer so frequently that it scares away the people but it is not like that lipoma it is a benign condition and rarely very rarely it can turn malignant and we don't have any proof 2% of the population suffer from this thing and it is considered as incurable if it is small the modern medicine people say that you know nothing can be done they don't do anything and if the person is very much concerned he can go for an operation he they can remove the it is an opd procedure in 30 minutes it can be removed but the problem arises when the person is having this lipoma this fatty tissue growth throughout the body it is generalized the most common places it occurs is on the abdomen on the arms on the thighs and if they are more in number then what to do as a student i was thought that nothing can be done for this condition and as i was thought that i was not taking these cases and as usual i was telling the patients you know that i cannot do anything for it because when you take such cases for treatment in two or three months the person becomes impatient and then he goes on asking you why i am not getting cured so it was 15 years ago such a case was brought to me by one of my patient his relative this person was around 40 years of age and he has lipoma all over the back and it appears and they were in a straight line the entire back it seemed you know that and the, all the lipomas were at the size of one rupee coin and the entire back of this person it it seemed as if you know somebody has designed now 
when I saw it, I told him, I, I cannot. I mean, these people, when they suffer from such things and depending upon the convenience of the person, this person was very much rich. So, they don't leave any stone unturned to get themselves cured. So, he had been, I mean, he was 40 years, the um, lipomas, it was since, you know, he started getting them when he was 20 and now he was in 40 years of his age and he had, he was a rich man and he has been to every place for its treatment. So when I saw this person, I told him, sorry, I cannot do anything. Now the person, the, the person who had brought him, my patient who had brought this guy to me, they both of them insisted. I told them, I sorry, I cannot do anything because I was taught what lipoma cannot be cured. I told him, sorry, I mean, you have been to all, so many doctors, so many people, specialists and everybody. And when he said the surgeon, the surgeon tells him, I mean, how many places we are going to operate on you? So they also, in multiple cases, they also are helpless. They cannot do anything. So both of them insisted me to give him the medicine. I told him, I don't know, I mean, what is going, because I didn't have any experience and I didn't want it to treat because of the prejudice that, you know, it cannot be cured. And when both of them insisted me, I took the case and I gave this person, I mean, all the symptoms pointed out to calcarea iode. And within two months, within two months, his all his lipomas disappeared. I was surprised. Patient was very much happy. I was very much surprised. And since then, after seeing that case, I started taking cases of lipoma. And up till now, I have cured at least five cases of multiple lipoma. One, they say, I mean the books say, it is more common in males, but I have seen the ratio is equal. I cured one girl, 25 years of girl, having 5 to 10 lipomas around the abdomen and I got result in 4 months. And sometimes I don't get results also, after trying much, if I am trying for 5 or 6 months and you can say that the ratio is 50-50% and the cases where I haven't got result, the patient didn't give me time. I mean, he, they get fed up. I mean, they, at the most they watch, they take your medicines for two months, three months. Though when a patient of lipoma comes to me, I tell them, don't watch for the time. I will, I will try. And you also try from your side, you can get result in six months, one year. If it is shrinking, then don't stop the medicine, don't look at the time, what is there? I mean, one year, two year, go on taking, if you are benefited, go on taking the medicine, what is the problem? So, up till now, five cases I have cured, one case is I am getting result in one case, that is why, I mean, this is a recent case, just three months ago I got this patient and I am getting result in this, so I am presenting this topic of lipoma. In the books they say males are more commonly affected, but it is not like that. In the books they say it uh, occurs in middle aged people more than 40 years to 60 years. Out of all the patients, what I have seen, you know, I haven't, I mean, I have got it in young people. They say, I mean, obesity, people who are obese suffer from these things. I don't find that also. All the patients which I have seen, none of them were obese. They say hereditary is responsible. In the recent one, I mean the recent one, the case I will be showing to you, in this recent case, there is a history in the father. The father is also having but at a one place. This kid who is 25 or 28 something, he is having lipoma throughout the body. It becomes a huge cosmetic problem 
and along with that there is so much scare i mean people scare them people for their own motive to give them medicine i mean people who are having these conditions they are just scared you can scare them and you can give them anything you can charge them anything so these people i mean they scare such type of people they scare these people that you know it is and not only qualified doctors generally these are the people who go to you know unqualified doctors they go to quacks and these quacks then you know they will give all misinformation that it will become cancer and it will become this and that and the person is seeing that it is going on growing so he is naturally very much scared 2% of the population suffer from this condition if sometimes what can happen you know the lipoma can be inside deep tissues also then it becomes very much problematic and they say i mean if it is removed surgically it doesn't reoccur but my experience is just the opposite i have seen reoccurrence after after you know there was one small less than only at one place and just within 2 years the person i had this patient who had come with many lipoma after the surgery so you cannot say there are many things in medical science which we don't know we don't know the exact cause they say sometimes it is after injury but that is also not the case i haven't found i mean maybe i i have seen 25 or 30 cases of lipoma up till now in my 25 years of practice i have got 50% result at least i have helped them i have cured them totally cured so this is the i mean if they say it is less than 2 inches but if it grows larger at one place then it can be operated liposuction can be done and if the condition is generalized if you are having it throughout the body then it is called as lipo metas lipoma lipotosis lipomatosis when it is generalized having many places i will show you the case how it is when it is at many places it can grow very huge also in this patient of mine it is so big at one place both the sides it is so big so if it is internally they say i mean the external the external lipomas when it is surgically removed it doesn't reoccur but they have written in the books if it is internal in the deep tissues or in an organ then after surgery also they say it has got a tendency to reoccur because in the internal organs in the in the inside or in the deep tissues what will happen you cannot remove the entire thing this is the reason they give it to you but if you know if the patient has got patience patients generally they get tired you know they become frustrated like cases like lipoma psoriasis all these very difficult cases you know they get frustrated they drop the medicine for one year and again if something happens then the, again they will go to another doctor you know the history goes on like this but if the patient is having patience and if you work on the lines of organon if you work on the lines of homeopathy as described in the organon you can get result in lipoma i my experience says that you know i am very much confident to handle if the patient gives me some time say if it doesn't look at the time and if he just go on goes on see when you are suffering from such a condition you are having these conditions it doesn't occur overnight it has got a history of 10 years 20 years so in these cases to go away to shrink give me some time one year two year then we can get result but usually the patient you know if you give them medicine for one month two months if you don't get result if nothing happens or if nothing is perceptible if no change is perceptible to the patient and his relatives or his guardian 
what will happen you know they will stop taking the medicine and then they will search for another doctor so in the first at least there should be some feeling some changes in the first prescription say in one month or two months and then the patient is with you and then you can cure it my intention is that lipoma it is curable please remember it is curable if you know homeopathy if you know hanemans homeopathy then and then only you can cure we don't have specifics in the books or people there are people who are teaching give thuja for lipoma if thuja is not working give ferrum picreta i have got good results this is not the way to practice homeopathy every case is a different case i k i cured the first case with calcarea iod i cured the girl 25 years these are the recent cases which i remember just 6 months ago that lady had come to me from hyderabad this lady i cured with cyanesia so you have to take the case in these cases if you know to work if you know to take the case according to hanemann then and then only you can cure such cases and there is no other way in homeopathy people who practice polypharmacy people who know specifics like you know headache belladonna i haven't used belladonna in my lifetime for headache so if you have got a mentality that for this name of the disease this is the homeopathic remedy you are mistaken you cannot cure lipoma with such an approach in your lifetime so thank you for listening to me that is all about lipoma thank you